Hi, welcome to this video on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge Collapse, the world's largest bridge collapse. I will in this video explain why the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapsed and what is done today to prevent similar disasters. I will explain this so everyone can understand the complex engineering behind suspension bridges. When the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was constructed, it was still early days of the suspension bridges. A suspension bridge comprises of towers, cables, and the deck. The main advantage is that the suspension bridge is very light on materials and therefore more flexible than other types of bridges. To understand the collapse, we first need to understand something called resonance. To understand resonance, I would like to make a demonstration with a swing. Resonance can also be called rhythm. I will now demonstrate how a very fast frequency or very fast rhythm affects a swing. We see this very fast rhythm didn't really affect the swing. It didn't start to make uh, swing motions. The opposite is a very slow moving rhythm. That's very slow moving frequency. Also this, we see this is not really affecting the swing much. But if I apply a rhythm at the swings Eigen frequency, the rhythm that the swing wants to move, then we start to get a lot of swinging. And this is what we don't want to happen for a bridge, and this is what we want to happen for a swing. As the swing had a rhythm, so does a bridge, a frequency it wants to move. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge had a frequency of one swing per five seconds. The wind blowing past the bridge will create a turbulent flow. In this picture we see the wind blowing past the deck and the cables. The wind is laminar or streamlined before it hits the deck and when it passes the deck it may become turbulent. Turbulent means it's changing direction with a frequency or rhythm. In one moment the wind creates a downward force and soon after an uplift force. We can call this the rhythm of the wind. The task of the engineer is to determine the rhythm of the bridge and then avoid other loads will have the same rhythm. Therefore, the engineer will plot the rhythm of the bridge and the rhythm of the wind in a frequency diagram or a rhythm diagram. This is to make sure the bridge will not start to resonance when subject to the load. This is exactly the mistake of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. The wind load and the bridge had the same rhythm and the bridge started to resonate until it eventually collapsed. Engineers have learned a lot since then and this accident is likely the main reason why there are next to no suspension bridge collapsing today. Modern decks are designed aerodynamic and lead to less turbulent. Another example is mass damping. A mass is swinging in a different rhythm than the bridge, here illustrated with my swing. Once the mass is released, you can see it quickly stops the rhythm of the swing. Finally, suspension bridges are very frequently tested in wind tunnels to verify the design and make sure the wind and the bridge does not share the same rhythm and start dancing. The next video is from a company that specializes in wind turbine testing, Total Engineering Solution. This video shows a modern wind test where engineers are designing a bridge so that it does not share the same rhythm with the wind. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.